how do you realize when the learning curve has come? Yahoo YouTube, I'm Super Genki, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about learning curves. I have lived in Japan before, in Kyoto for a year, about six months into that program, but I was on this island in the middle of Mie, and it was like I read it in a book, and it was all good, but I hit my first learning curve there, when I just realized that, dude, I was like burnt out from Japan, but then I got this new kind of like, ooh, I want to come back to Japan, and I want to teach English. I thought that I had already hit the learning curve that all foreigners experience in this country, that I already had overcome it. Then when I got back here to start teaching English, things warped again and like I hit several more learning curves. I was thinking about Japanese and I was like, you know, I say the same things to everyone and Abe-san knows this and a lot of people that I speak Japanese to, they know that I, I really focused on talking about one topic and the reason that I do this is because I'm on a timeline right now and my timeline is coming to an end in about five months. The opportunity that I have to use Japanese is dwindling. It's, it's going away. And that thought linked me to this. I've been struggling with YouTube ever since the end of my fourth year of college. At the beginning of my fourth year of college, I really, I was all, I was all fired up. I was ganky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Making videos, making videos. And then I kind of like fell off the block towards the end of my fourth year of college. And then I came to Japan and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Videos, videos. I started making videos again. And then about like maybe four months after I moved to Japan again, I fell off the block again, and then eight months later, here I am, trying to revive the YouTube spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the learning curve for me this time was realizing that I only have so much time left here. It's out of state, out of mind, and that's why we tend not to think about it, because we don't think about learning curves until we actually hit them. How do you realize when the learning curve has come? The time you have in a certain place is temporary. That's when you hit the learning curve you have to take the next step. And where you are right now, it's not forever. It's an opportunity, but if you don't use it to its maximum, you won't get it again. And that was how I realized that this was a new learning curve. I'm leaving in five months. The ability to make these videos in Japan is going away. So I have to dekiru dake, sky I have to use it as much as possible. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. That's the learning curve for today. Thanks for watching as always. Bye-bye!